Ryan Brzee is back, the defensive lineman there for the Saints, and the Saints are very excited about that. You know what we're excited about? We're excited about Bridget Condon and Greg Rosenthal getting what they want. That's the honey badger. He gets what he wants. Tyron, a lot has been talked this week about how you stepped up as a veteran. How have you kind of moved into that role early this season in training camp? Yeah, I mean, we've got a lot of young guys on our team. Uh, I mean, we're, 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 we're a really talented bunch. Um, so I think a lot of that uh, is, you know, just veterans kind of, you know, pulling their weight along and uh, just getting these young guys to kind of realize their responsibilities and, you know, their potential. You know, I follow you on Twitter. Uh -huh. Great follow, underrated, uh, Tyron Matthew. And I couldn't help but notice you get a little upset earlier this week about some safety rankings that were out. One, you know, Chauncey Gardner-Johnson, who was once on the Saints, he yeah. seemed to be talking about he didn't like the rankings. And I, I love that you stuck up for yourself right away. Yeah. Like, how, how do you feel about where you're viewed in the league and in those Madden rankings and what he had to say? Yeah, I mean, I've been doing this a long time. Uh, you know, I, I would say that I'm, I'm usually like 91, 92. I'm kind of in that range for for a while. But, I mean, the numbers speak for themselves. You know what I mean? I am think I'm like one or one or two in, like, interceptions since 2013. Um, you know what I mean? I've, I've been an all-decade, all-pro player. So, I mean, when guys like that chirp, uh, it, don't, it doesn't really bother me. But every now and then, you know, i got to take that low road and kind of remind them, you know, who I am. Is to give you a little extra juice you play them week, week two you're yeah, playing you play yeah, the eagles you got yeah. that circle now oh yeah for sure i mean listen man he used to play for the saints and you know obviously uh you know i played against the eagles a bunch man that's a great team i think nick is going to do a great job getting those guys ready but uh you know we're going to be ready to roll 2023 was your fifth season with at least three or more interceptions how do See what you, i'm saying yeah i got you i got you with the stats right here man how do you uh keep that up is there something you make sure you do in the off season to to get those numbers i mean i'm, I'm highly motivated uh, it doesn't really take uh, a bunch for me to get going um and two man like i've always been around really good great coaches you know i think when i came in this league i had ty bowles and you know i spent the year with romeo cornell and you know now i'm here with you know dennis allen who's you know his defenses are usually like top five top ten so uh, a lot of that credit goes to coaches and uh the way those guys kind of move me around and kind of just let me do what i'm good at i, I think about the arc of your career and it's fascinating think about how you came into the league yeah. slipping in the draft and then the injury that you suffered obviously with arizona mm -hmm. and then to bounce back and have these types of seasons and to get these big contracts how does it feel to you now you're you're in your hometown yeah what is this year 12 year 12 year yeah. 12 in the nfl how is your perspective on just the journey that you've been on as a player yeah i mean you know i've, I've had some rocky moments man i think uh it kind of goes back to that quote like why you shouldn't give up right uh and you know i've had my fair share of adversity and kind of obstacles to overcome but you know i just kept my head in it you know i try to stay as close to the game as possible um but uh like i said man between coaches and playing with great players um you know i think the motivation is there the challenge is always there there's been a lot of questions about this offense, offensive line, how it's going to look under new offensive coordinator Clint Kubiak. For you guys on defense, how do you uh, like how, how do you manage the expectations of the offense, but knowing that you guys are solid on defense and can kind of be that backbone? Yeah, I mean, obviously, you know, you want to challenge those guys, you know, as much as we can. I will say that, you know, I think the scheme that those guys are in it fits all of those guys really well. Um, you know, I think defensively, you have to be really good with your eyes. Uh, you got to understand leverage, um, and then you got to figure out, you know, where. It's he like where's Chris Olave where's Alvin Kamara where's Taysom Hill in the formation so uh, it's a lot to look at uh, and I can see why you know uh, teams like the Niners and the Rams right like uh, those teams are usually at the top of the list when it comes to offensive play because it's just so much to look at like so many moving pieces I I'm jealous of you, you I uh, went to school in New Orleans and you're living my dream moving back to <laughs> New Orleans at the height of your career yeah. like what's the best thing about being back in New Orleans and living there man I'll tell you man uh, it's kind of easy to get that home cooked meal so you know between my <laughs> sister and my mom and, you know, just everybody, man. Everybody's trying to feed me. So uh, I got to watch my weight, you know what I mean, a lot. But uh, it's good to be back home. Send some of that food our way. Real quick, before we let you go, one word to describe what you think the Saints team will be this season. Oh, we're going to have way more attitude. We're going to have way more attitude this season. Um, yeah, I think it's personal, uh, not just for us. You know, I think for our coaches as well. Like, we want to put a good product out there, and uh, we're going to get back to that old nasty, you know, just playing with an attitude. Appreciate it. Thanks oh, yeah, so much for joining appreciate us. Appreciate you. Thank you.